bring me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. The gangster story begins here in the Grand Hall of Ellis Island. The benches stand empty now. Only tourists walk the polished tile floors. But there was a time when this room was crammed with the hopes, fears, and dreams of countless multitudes. They came from the poorest parts of Europe. Their plan, to make a new life in the new world. During the early 1900s, tens of thousands of Italian, Sicilian, Russian, and Jewish immigrants disembarked here on the old wooden dockside of Ellis Island, the final stop before reaching the goal of their dreams, America. The Italians were fleeing poverty. The Jews were fleeing persecution in Eastern Europe. Both groups had come in search of the promised land. But the conditions they found on arrival in New York were appalling. Sweatshop jobs for next to nothing pay. Poverty, disease, and crime. This is what the immigrants first encountered. American street hoodlums circa 1900. They looked a far cry from the fashion conscious mobsters of later years but these young toughs were every bit as deadly. Street gangs have always been a big part of inner city life. These basketball players today are not gang members, but in their neighborhood, gangs are never far away. And the reasons why haven't changed in over a hundred years. It was your, uh, your protection, your recognition, your protection in the neighborhood. That was the thing to do in those days. Join a gang, join a street gang, you get re respect, you get recognition. You know, instead of being like uh, a nerd, shall we say, in today's times. Right? Back in the early 1900s, the newly arriving immigrants were met by a network of already well established street gangs. The gangs had odd names. The odder the name, the stronger the gang. The Five Pointers, the Plug Uglies and the dead rabbits. In this case, dead meant really nifty, uh, and rabbit meant a tough guy. So dead rabbits was then taken up like Yankee Doodle was and became, uh, you know, seriously, serious, seriously bad dudes. Uh, probably would be a good translation there. The native gangs were strikingly modern. Gang members wore colors. They called their headquarters cribs, they talked of ruling turf. And just look at this, an unmistakable gang sign, made not by some homie from LA, but by a New York hood way back in 1889. The resident gangs were from different ethnic origins, Irish, English, German. They too had once been immigrants, but now they ruled the roost and they were determined to make the new kids on the block knuckle under. The new arrivals dropped right into the middle of this gangland hornet's nest. Like campus freshmen, immigrants had to learn their place in the new world, and they had to learn fast. It's part of the quest for the promised land. It's a story as old as America, and it turns some people into gangsters.